take me out. Right. <clears throat> That's great. That's great. Can't He's a smart dog. Edge, but... He's a smart dog. Right. Well, you know. Right. Uh, oh, your come mic's. On. Come on. I don't... Hello. There you Hello. go. So, so much see, of that. Quite okay. honestly, like 30 seconds into the, into the song, I'm praying that the song actually just has literal connotations. Fuck off. Good God. Fuck is wrong with you? Fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Needs better help. So, welcome back to Soul Pass Podcast, your Soul weekly Pod. information dump if you're coming to the wrong fucking place. Podcast. On the other end, a lot of information gets thrown around here. Right. Right. And uh, <laughs> just so everybody knows, on this episode, of, uh, this episode of Soul Pods, no whales were harmed too much. Well, I mean, they didn't feel it. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, not too much. A couple of adventure capitalists, but no whales. Right. Right, we were just cutting into the fat. Lots of blubber. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeesh. Yeesh. Great. That was great. So how have you, how, how, how are you guys? You two. How was your trip? It was fucking awesome. Yeah. It was... Fucking sick. Yeah. You sound pretty excited. You want to talk about it for a minute? Uh, people just wouldn't get it. Unless you hear a bunch of wankers, you know. Fucking pretentious. Yeah. Don't talk about our audience like that. Uh, yeah. You guys are a bunch of wankers. Wow. Mm, it's a good wow. lot of you, probably. All right. Well, we can just skip Evan then since he's a twat, Buzzy. How about you? <laughs> I, uh,. There's uh there seems to be a lot going on in the world and I'm bothered by a few things, but mm, I'm moseying along. Interesting. What are you bothered by? <sighs> well, I mean, there's definitely one thing that uh, I saw just today. Like I almost broke down at work. It made me so mad. Um. So I guess uh, what was it? Uh, middle of September. There was a uh. Uh, a girl pulled over uh, by cops. They pulled her out the car, um, handcuffed her, put her in, in the squad car and started searching her car, right? Didn't tell her what she was being pulled over for, although that comes later. Um, like seconds later, fucking train comes through and hits this squad car because this dumbass bitch of a female officer parked it on the goddamn train tracks. No way. Yep. Watched the goddamn video this morning. Ooh, holy shit, that's brutal. She survived. Uh-huh. Oh, Brian. Oh, no. Not in good shape, so. No, oh, 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 no, that's like... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, end of September, she, she apparently got out of the hospital. Oh. Yeah, and the, the first thing... She's fine, then. This happened in Colorado, and I just now heard about it. Oh, really? Dude, yeah. What do you say about She's fucking... She won. No. <laughs> Are you shitting me? You know how much fucking money she's going to get? Well, she, she won. Uh, she she won the game, man. She apparently did take a uh, step towards that, but. Oh, oh are you fuck, fucking yeah. kidding me? You have to be an idiot not to. Oh, f- yeah. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's that's so much fucking money dude, in lawsuits right there. That's city money in lawsuits right there, dude. You're set for the rest of your oh, life. Yeah, dude. She won. She won the for game, sure. man. Well, I mean, here's the, the. The biggest thing for me was that. Uh, the. Uh, the the cop that, that put her in the squad car is on paid administrative leave, meaning all of our tax dollars are paying for it. That's right now. Normal. That's pretty normal. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. On the, other normal. Hand, on the other hand, if I was working in, say, a warehouse and I ran over someone's leg with the fucking forklift, I'd be fired for incompetence and negligence, which she should be because she parked on a goddamn railroad track. Which is, oh, by the way, illegal. So she already broke the law as a cop. Just automatically off the top. And second of all, she endangered everyone's life there. Because at some point they have to go back to that cop car to get it off the tracks. But third of all, she wasted police resources by doing that, by being incompetent. 
If any other job, she would have been fired on the fucking spot. That's any other true. job. That's true. But now you have your goddamn unions. Any other job. Yeah. But a lot of times they just based on a safety issue, not even the union. incompetence. No, no, it, it is the. It, I mean, the incompetence is the safety issue, right? Like, because you're, so you put yourself and your fellow officer in danger, but then as soon as you, as soon as you remove bodies, that becomes incompetence, right? Putting the, putting her in the, in the back seat of the vehicle with no, no way of getting out, like that combines the two, right? Like she's an idiot three times, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum three and times. You shouldn't be paid for her leave right now. No, and that's that's totally true. I mean, I tore my rotator cuff and I'm gonna have to fight for back bay on the days that I'm not she, gonna be there right yeah, now, you know. She like, should, quite like, honestly should be fired and shamed everywhere she fucking goes for being stupid. No, but instead every time she orders a vente at Starbucks, she should get a medium. And it should say medium on it. And not with the Starbucks cup. It should literally say medium on it to, to, to accentuate how fucking stupid she is. Because, you know, she can't read another language. Right. That's fair. Um, but instead, um, there was a Colorado deputy who started an OnlyFans page and made a shitload of money. Um, her fellow officers found out about it. And because of that, she was forced to resign. Yeah, no, I did see about that too. So, but this uh, this brought hallmarks of stupidity back to that uh, that other female officer who accidentally pulled her gun instead of her taser and shot somebody dead. It's a mixed bag, you know. It that just proves that to me, it, it it's just, all incompetence, it's all stupidity, and it's all people that are not worthy of the job. Well, hey, at least the police department showed that they hire equally. Yeah, right. I'm glad that their their stupidity spreads across both genders. Me too. Honestly, yeah, they hire that's all, all sorts of about, idiots, right? They hire idiots of all genders and colors and sexualities and right. I'm waiting for the first trans person to kill somebody as a cop. Right. And then we'll really see what happens with a train, specifically with a train. So like Who running a train, like two years max, right? It'll happen, right? <laughs> gotcha gotcha well no that, i mean that is infuriating right like um we talked about a lot before but police definitely should like we should definitely fund them in the correct way and take away their tanks right let's let's commit more than 16 weeks of training to a group of people who are supposed to protect the civilian populace at this point i don't even think they deserve sunglasses Right, you get those taken away till you earn the map. Everybody has to be able to see your eyes. That's the window to the soul, and it knows if like that's how you can tell if you're being honest. Right, right. It's like uh, it's like that movie with uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Like here, here's your wooden gun. Right, exactly. Like, the <laughs> other guys. Right. Yeah, Desk yeah. Desk pop. How long has it been since you did desk pop, Evan? I don't know, but if you if you make it harder to become a cop, none of these fucking dipshits are going to want to do it. Sure, and good. So there'd be less cops. Yeah, it also there weed out the weak and, and the unworthy as well. You can't lower the standards because the job is hard. Sure. You, and need, you need more made metal men. Look, for the most part, people don't go around just murdering each other, right? Um, the whole uh, apocalyptic mindset of if there are no cops, suddenly everything just becomes chaos so let's just say let's play a little hypothetical question right so tomorrow all drugs are legalized right all of them doesn't matter do you immediately go out and seek your first heroin clinic to start fucking bang banging heroin just because you can no but i'd stop by the 7-eleven picked up a little bit of coke sure and that's your already personal preference right most people would not switch to just immediately doing hard drugs just like if there were less cops most people wouldn't just start there would be there would be no increase of murders there would be no increase of violence or anything there would actually be a drop and a decrease statistically because less police mean there are less police arresting people for petty stop and frisks and other bullshit like that or loitering. And, they, and they focus more on or the things that actually matter right like a domestic violence case that they've been on you know like a domestic violence call that they've been to for the third time and they actually have the resources to devote to helping they have the resources person. now they just they they don't right 
But this is this is this just a slow not, evolution of it, I suppose. Like, well, it's, it's all a number of games to them. Like you got to remember, even being the cop is a business. That's why yeah. prisons are for profit, right. because you have to keep a certain number of criminals in there. How do you get right. the criminals in there? You need a a big police force so that you can catch every single little thing that any single person in your city does, no matter how little or, or how stupid it is. So we can fill those prisons. Oh, I'm sorry. Those prisons aren't getting filled the way they should. Well, guess what? We're going to pass laws to legalize more and more shit. Like say walking across the street, but not at a crosswalk. Right. Which we talked about actually in an episode before, which didn't used to be a thing and only became a thing because the auto industry wanted to uh, like utilize the industrial revolution era and the way that cars were being made by selling more of them. So they made it illegal to walk in the street and they called it jaywalking. And in the twenties and thirties, when this law was made, if you called somebody a J right, that was equivalent to a racial slur nowadays, but now it's a law, Right. So, like, that's fucking ridiculous, you know, um, and we've just been brainwashed to think that this has been around for forever. But really, it was a lobbied move by a business interest in the early foundings of America to fuck us completely. It was like a baby skipping stone into what we now live in, this dystopian oligarchy ran society that we call America. Right. Right. I mean, I don't I don't think that I'm wrong, but I mean, I could be. I don't know. Evan's lack of uh, commitment. To anything is. It's a it's a power move in like a business meeting. It's is incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. While you're, I, I, while know, you're I know. I know. He doesn't even have the decency. I'm really to like just me. wondering what the returns on Q3 were and I'm out of here. Oh, I see. I see. You could have the decency to stuff that up your sleeve and at least act like you were asleep and eat it. Out of your sleep. Was this high school? I would have appreciated the at least blatant neglect in that way instead of the straight disrespect you give me by just eating while I'm talking. <laughs> I'm listening. I actually listen <laughs> better while I'm eating. <laughs> Uh, whatever you say, stares, Matt Damon. Whatever you say, he stares at you too while he does it, like a great Dane. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And for those listening, this Panda oh. Express is delicious. Oh, whatever. Go get you guys some Panda Express. Not sponsored by Panda Express. No, in no way, shape, or form are we sponsored by Panda Express. Oh, that orange chicken is banging. You know it, dog. Pretty hard to fuck up orange chicken. Right. I mean, what do you do? Spray paint and, and chicken balls. I mean... <laughs> 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 the other day at work i uh i look back at the fryers and i see that one of my employees didn't uh turn the screw all the way to like pressure cook the chicken right so she closed the lid but it's just sitting there all fucking loosey-goosey there's fucking oil and water all over the top of the fryer so i re-screw it back down and she comes back and she's like well brandon said that we're not supposed to do that i stopped and i looked at her and i was like serena I have been fucking chickens for eight years. I am a certified professional chicken fucker. You will listen to what I tell you when it comes to fucking chickens. Do you understand? And she was so lost. She was so lost. I was like, just, just fucking. It's not pressure cooking. It's a fucking thing is pressurized. Just fucking tie the goddamn thing. Call it fucking good. Don't do it again. Fuck. But. Yeah, and now that's just what I tell everybody. I've been fucking chickens. I am a professional <laughs> ornithological strangulation expert. <laughs> no, All I do is fuck chickens. But for real, you're good. Just kidding, you didn't double bread it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and I'm sure that she didn't. Fucking. <clears throat> <dumb. clears throat> Anyways, um, that is infuriating, and people who are bad at their jobs should not have their jobs. It should really be that simple. Right. Um, the fact that they she still does have her job is just like a show of either lack of application or desperation or just pure ignorance on their part. I don't know which is worse. Well, I. Um, I do know this one thing that this uh, 
This girl is going to get a large settlement probably oh, yeah. out of all of this. That's oh. what I said. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be too upset about it. She won, dude. She didn't win anything. Oh, fuck. Yeah, she did. Depends on how much she gets. Oh, she'll get a lot out of that. Are you kidding? If she doesn't get over 20 mil, then it's not worth it. Yeah, that, I'm thinking it's going to be retirement. <laughs> Well, even then, kind of money. Uh, that that definition has changed just with inflation in the last, you know, few months, right? Uh, I would I would say uh, before I would I would have settled for like ten and probably been okay. I think to be safe, twenty for retirement type money, twenty to twenty five, easy for something like that. Either way, Ta- after taxes, that's how you always phrase the settlement that you get. Is I want twenty five million after taxes, so that way they give you a larger settlement and they just take it out from there, and then you get twenty five million. Boom! I take whatever settlement the fucking state gives me and then go after her in civil court for being stupid. Yeah, you sure could too. You sure could. Like, how dare you? Right. Absolutely. And I mean, honestly, you get that money first, though. Yeah. And then you take her money, and then take her house. Right. Right. No, you just buy the mortgage from her, for, from her house and then jack her rent up to a point where she can't pay it anymore and then evict her and then move into her house. And then, and then December 25th, her kids knock on your door. You'd be like, yeah, this is where we have to have Christmas now. Yeah, convince her to get a bunch of chickens and then like three weeks later, go and fuck all of them. Just fuck all of those chickens. And when they come out, it's just nothing but fried chicken all over the lawn. <laughs> <And> she comes <laughs> <laughs> Just half drumsticks, half bloodied, headless chicken corpses. She's like, oh my God, I'm pretty sure a fucking drunken Sasquatch came through here. <laughs> Fucked my chickens and then ate, ate the rest of them. <laughs> came through with a bucket of KFC and just didn't have enough. <laughs> oh, the shit. Oh, oh, and with that, our DoorDash with our KFC is actually here. So we're going to be right back. Thanks. And welcome to the yes, That's right. That is right. God grant me the serenity to be a space cowboy and loot dead spaceships and also keep fugitives away from the long arm of the galactic law. Amen. Wonderful. So anyways. The thing that I wanted to talk about today is adjacent to some other things that we have talked about. And it was just an idea that I had. Um, So, so we've talked a lot about the electric universe and what electricity does for everything. Uh, You and I had a private discussion the other day where we talked about um, the soul being. Hey, well, don't put that out on the podcast. Behind closed doors, dude. Whatever. Um, uh, About souls being um, electrical in nature as well. Right. Um, which just that, I mean, that in itself is a whole topic that we can go forward on. But, um, with this, I was kind of thinking about it in just a little bit of a different way. So we've, we've kind of, we've talked a lot about how, um, almost anything can be brought back to, um, electromagnetism at a certain point. Right. Um, Everything. there's, there's, I mean, we talk about, it being able to disprove gravity in the sense of electromagnetism. Um, electromagnetism is um, something that we could use as a weapon, um, something that we could use as a uh, perpetual energy source. Um, it, it, it dictates um, how atoms are formed and the way that they rotate and orbit around each other and how matter is created by, a, by the electromagnetic attractiveness of certain things to other things and shit like that um <clears throat> we we've just we've discussed it a lot but one thing that we haven't discussed is how electromagnetism affects time and if time isn't actually just a form of electromagnetism or just the decay of electromagnetism over time that we notice right and because humans being a species where we're obsessed with, for some reason, keeping track of things and events that happen, we need a way to measure that, right? Time is completely objective in the sense of 
Earth time is different to Mars time is different to Venus time is different to Mercury time, so on and so forth. In any space movie that you see, if they're using a measurement of time, they're using Earth years because there's literally no once you get into the vacuum of space, time becomes meaningless. Right. Star day two, seven, eight, four dot. You know, it's Tuesday. Right. It, <clears throat> Right. And once we move away from that, it becomes meaningless until we observe it somewhere else. Right. And we just call it day and night and we we observe it the way that we do, because to humans, that makes sense. But time is still prevalent, even without that regard of human beings. Right. Because stars do decay. Right. They do supernova or they turn into a black hole. There are events that happen. Things move throughout the universe. and to move through something, to move through space, is to move through time as well, right? It's just a fundamental force that is ever present from the moment of creation till the end of it, right? It sounds like it's a really good fitting electromagnetic thing that we could work into what we already think, right? Well, I do have an idea about it because I have thought about it. It, it is. It, it, there's a lot that can kind of go into it, like this whole skeleton dark matter thing that you've brought up before right time could be an electromagnetic current that we simply exist on right um the resonance of the big bang that is keeping everything the way that it is but it is decaying slowly at a certain point right like background radiation but this would be like a consistent linear thing that is what gives the universe, it's it's being, which then brought me to the Higgs boson may not be the matter for particle. It actually might be the matter for time. The individual things that actually make up the physical space of time that we actually occupy. I mean, that would be to assume that time is a physical construct as well. If it was an electromagnetic mm-hmm. construct, it would 100% be. It would be like a wave just moving through the universe Not continuously. Not necessarily, because gravity can still be an effect of electromagnetism, so could time. However, here's something. So, an experiment was definitely done where um, we had a set of twins. Uh, one of them uh, goes up onto the ISS, the other one stays here. Uh, the interesting thing about that, though, is that the guy up on the ISS aged slower and and they were able to measure that uh, when they came back. There were definite differences between the twins. Now, in my theories of uh, of electromagnetism and the way it would work with gravity is is that basically it, it the closer we are to the, uh, the the like that that gravitational fundamental thing of the closer we are to the to the thing is is going to be stronger force right and that's why we experience time the way we do because we're stuck on the surface of the planet if we were within the planet we'd probably experience it a bit differently this guy was outside of the planet and experienced it differently so i started thinking what if you took that further and went out to deep space how slow could time go at that point you know what i'm saying which makes me think that time truly is a man-made construct and that in reality it's just a function of causality that's kind of what i was thinking is like um like we we take a time because you know we get older and we die um or you know trees get older they get bigger um you know stuff like that but other than that it's really non-existent but it cosmic matter. cosmic decay and cosmic death of cosmic beings is though. And that's evidenced through the different types of stars that we do see, like white dwarfs and red giants and stuff like that. These are stars that have exploded, they've reached an expiration point. Their time was yeah, but, up. That's but, an objective No no it's we see it as their time is up. We don't see the inner workings of that star to understand what actually happened. <laughs> no, maybe we have if a time guess. wasn't up, maybe something had a runaway reaction and blew it up before it's time so to speak and again that's from our perspective from the universe's perspective everything happens exactly as it's supposed to so um referencing again that conversation that we had we talked about ghosts 
and how um, ghosts will draw like there tend to be uh, like more abandoned places seem to be more like really, really fucking haunted when you go there, like um, like asylums and stuff like that. Right. Um, because the entities, when you go in a large group, draw off of your energy, right? They draw off of that electromagnetism to give themselves a corporeal form, theoretically, right? Um, what if when you're out in deep space, because there's no like um, Einstein said, you know, like uh, just to just to test relativity, right? Um, spending two hours with a pretty girl. Right. Seems like no time at all. But you spend two hours doing hard labor and it seems like only like five minutes has passed while you're doing that. Right. Because the energy that you're giving is direct in that situation. Right. With a pretty girl talking to a pretty girl at a bar or whatever, you are fully engrossed, fully attentive on that situation. So you're giving more energy to that. So time moves faster. Versus doing something that you don't want to be doing, but you have to give your energy to anyways. It seems like time moves slower when you do that shit, right? So I would think that the farther you got away from an energy source and the less energy you had to give time, like if you were in a spacesuit, let's just say, you know, totally imaginary, right? A spacesuit that never wears down, never, um, you know, you have an infinite food intake, you have an infinite, you know, way to recycle your water and stuff like that, but you are just in deep space, right? How much time passes before you get somewhere where you can die finally by crashing into the planet and burning up in the atmosphere, right? It's irrelevant. There's no time at all. You float for infinity until something, an event happens where you can give your energy and awareness to it, and then you create time. And that was my whole point until an event happens. Sure. It's just a function of causality. Shit happens and it happens over a function of time. Right. But electromagnetism is also caused by a function, right? By an awareness of some sort, whether that's flipping a switch or it being a reactor inside of a planet or the reactor inside of a star creating its own magnetic field. There is a, there is a reason for that there is a flip that is you know a switch that is flipped you know but in a grandiose term that's right? also why i said that it's a it must be a, a function of the the like the electromagnetic interactions like without the electromagnetic interactions there is no time and that's what i mean by a function of causality okay so so we're kind of like i'm basically trying to say that same thing Right, yeah, but it with, seems like you're very similarly on it. It's it's just there. There, I just feel like there is a deeper thing to that, right? Because like, then if the if if that it is, is interesting true, to give your energy to time, though, I'll give you that because yeah. that's kind of what we do, right? Like I was like, thinking about it from the ghost perspective because like I've thought about that too. Like uh, maybe there's just resonant frequencies in all of these certain different places and they don't even activate until you get there. But because you get there and you have an electromagnetic field that interacts with the resonant frequency, right. boom, something happens. Right. And it's just the energy that you're giving to it. And we do give our energy like when we go to work, you're not really you're 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 giving your time. Right. You're giving your energy to the place where you are, you know. Um, and that's why eventually, no matter what you do, everybody ends up hating their fucking job because you either feel like you're giving too much energy or, you know, your employer feels like you're not giving enough or you feel like the other people around you aren't. If you don't vibe well with your coworkers, it makes work shitty. Right. Um, and that's ultimately like what makes people leave, you know, um, but we we you know, we invest hours of our lives into doing things. And that's why there are really good days at work where it seems like everything just goes perfectly smooth and everything is fine. And it goes by really quick, really shitty days at work. Right. And that's every day, every interaction that you have, you're giving your energy to that time that you're perpetuating with that person. Right. Without that, then we are just like, that's how you can tell the NPCs from the real people in like a really real way. Right. People who just go about their days and give zero energy to any of the interactions that they have and shit like that. Like those are those miserable fucks who you always just don't want to deal with. But the people who actually are attentive and actually care about what they're doing and are present in that moment, they tend to be happier. Ultimately, at least while you're interacting with them, 
you know? Um, but I don't know. It just made me, just made me think like, you know, that, that it, it can just be another thing, another force of nature, so to speak, that we can kind of lump in with this after effect of what electromagnetism produces, right? <clears throat> Specifically in humans, where we are just like an electrical vehicle for said right. electricity yeah. to it's like if I, itself, you know? I love something hard enough. Like, can I get a refund on my sex doll? No. No. Those are non-refundable, especially if they're used. You sure? But you I mean, know what else they say, too? Time I, flies when you're fucking chickens. That's true. That's super true. <laughs> they're hard to catch, when so it makes it fun. When you're clucking fickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the jokes. Oh, God. We don't, we don't actually fuck chickens here. Can you imagine? Can you imagine trying to fuck a chicken? I can't. It takes two people to fuck a chicken. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> it takes two people to let a horse fuck you. Yeah, uh, somebody proved that. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm, I I once took two bowling balls to this massive rooster. <laughs> That's how I got him to submit. Mm. Shaved off all the feathers. Yeah, I was Did you know there's cream. a special shaving cream? <laughs> For cocks? I wouldn't even be surprised, really. Um, but no, I was fucking sick at one cocks, time. You dumb fuck. You don't shave them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have hair they're not mammals Twenty far too Jacob sorry no, no, that's just not enough no, 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 it's still no, no, got no. some stubble you gotta no. get I'll mm-hmm. defer to your expertise yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure as fuck well on, absolutely on how to you know de-hair a cock yeah it's yeah. real easy wax tends to work the best with the wrapper wait are we talking about dick or chickens I'm and not sure anymore I'm sorry. Just, I've been sitting there playing this song for six hours, and this chicken hasn't gotten rid of us all of its feathers yet. <laughs> it really sucks when they when they start laying an egg, right? And it's not golden. Well, no, like right as your that's goose. Whatever, dude. Gooses. Mises and Mooses will be right back. Explosions and crashes. If you or the Lorax want to bust like we do, give us a call. We're ready to defeat you. Ghostbusters, flow crushers, get the job done. Spitting out the lyrics like, we got one. Get the people moving like the Statue of Liberty. Try to beat us in a battle, man, you gotta be kidding me. But delivery of sand stands straight like my main man Slinky. I collect spores. Tell them about the tweet. Like your show? It's all fluff and filler. I'll kick your hiney, man. I'm a savage killer. Wow, your raps are just too whack to handle. Let's do it like we do on the Discovery Channel. Your science is preposterous, the opposite of competent process. And in this episode, we'll give you a synopsis. Starting with the vacuum cleaner strapped up on your back. It's a fact, positron, don't react like that. You built a laser grate with no safety switch. And Mother Beck was right, that's some shady shit. Good thing you're working a firehouse. Cause you just got burned. You are poor scientists. That's enough from the walrus and Dickless the Clown. Let's show these myth bitches how we do it downtown. Are you sick? Ho! Eat them up! Smoke it! Uh, that goes up in that one. Every fucking time for me. Yeah. Every time. Without regard. Fucking love Epic Rap Battles of History. <laughs> nah, that's right. <laughs> And a reminder, if you are unemployed, go ahead and go to uh, Kamasutra.com. They are uploading new positions every day. Right. Right. If you live in the greater New York area. <laughs> or, or the lesser. Right. Whatever, man. They, they, like they don't Buffalo. care. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Good job. Fuck Buffalo. Shout out to our Buffalo <laughs> listeners. Y'all suck. Both of you. <laughs> All two of you. Fuck <laughs> yourselves. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What else do you want to talk about today? Because that was all I had. Well, um, you guys hear about this missing journalist? 
No, I have not, actually. Uh, so this guy had uh, kind of been on the inside, uh, kind of always knew high-ranking officials within the government, within uh, within intelligence and different things, and always had stories kind of kind of given to him and everything, right? Um, but he had come out about uh, uh, about the Ukraine conflict going on right now, saying that that coup that happened in 2014, that started a whole eight-year campaign of basically gauging Russia's military offensive tactics. That's what they've been doing for the last eight years until Russia actually went in. Thing is, six months ago, he... Uh, he he was like he was working on a book with a with a lieutenant colonel uh, like man I think like he's a very famous uh, dude at this point but uh, yeah he was working on a book uh, with him called him up he said he was very distraught and uh, uh, but that he was going to pull out of that uh, of that book uh, out of that project the publishing company completely scrubbed his name from from the book itself like from the publication. He quit his job, just up and quit it. No one knows why, but he hasn't been seen in like six months. The FBI just raided his, uh, his house as well. I don't know if Chester happened right afterwards, but like they said that it was due to classified material being on his computer. Yeah, he knew too much. Right. That's what it would seem like. That's definitely what it seems like. He got a visit. Yeah, no one's seen him uh, for for a while now, and 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 we don't really know what's happened. But it is very interesting for him to uh, to come out and say that the whole point of the the coup was to gauge military tactics in Russia and see how their response times were and and all of that. Like we basically started a proxy war to gauge our enemy. Or our perceived enemy. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of seem like that. It does seem like we're we're just fucking egging them on at this point. Oh, definitely. We're, we're, we're getting as as close as as we can with uh, you know, the whole NATO thing and supplying them with a shitload of of weapons and and money, money, a lot of fucking money, um, and a lot of fucking weapons, um. And I mean, we're doing everything but that last step that would make it inevitable, you know, a, a World War Three scenario. Right. Um, we're just trying to fucking encourage it. Yeah, they're just tiptoeing that line, you know, and doing it successfully. I mean, most of the public is on their fucking side about it, which is horrible. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, this obviously comes on the heels of... Uh, of you know the Crimea bridge explosion and that terrorist attack, um, right, yeah, right. right under uh, the pipeline. Yeah, which by explosion. the way, Russia did not do to itself. Okay, right. there's no right. way Russia does an action, and then we say, "Yo, that actually helped us out." There's just no possible way that that happens in a conflict. Right, okay. it doesn't work like that. No, no. Um, I mean, I've heard a lot of crazy shit about what it could be. A lot of people, like a lot of conspiracy people, are like, "Oh, it's proof of a solar weapon." That they used, uh, like the hammer of dawn from fucking Gears of War, and blew this fucking bridge up with a with a sunlight beam. Like I'm not even it's like a giant magnifying like scope in space that they focus down on. And their whole proof is this leaked video showing uh, this like infrared scan of the bridge happening right before the fucking Laser. thing happened. Laser, right? Right, and you can in this video see what looks like an exhaust, just exhaust fume coming from this point in what you're told is this bridge. It's all just bullshit. Like this was the U.S. clearly doing something stupid through proxies with with Ukraine. Right, like right. That's all this was. No, no. There's no huge surprise. There's no huge conspiracy. Boom! Whoa, that was big. What? Are you, no, no, no. That wasn't us. No, you guys blew up your own shit. Fuck right, you. Fuck you. Right. It just makes sense. If you don't think about it in any way, shape, or form, it right, just makes sense. at all. Right. You just accept the headline, then you move on. You regurgitate it at a party, sound smart to all of your other, you know, politically brainwashed friends. 
Right. You read your, you know, first paragraph of an article for the month. Good job. Congratulations. Jacob, Jacob has his thesaurus out. That was a good word. Check it. I lost mine. And I honestly can't describe how I feel. Well, he can just with a lot of really common words. Very short, short words. Wild, cool, and interesting. <laughs> uh, shout out scared to death that is that is totally them can't even can't even take that makes me feel bad about myself you know right the sorest jokes we need more of those right yes that would help evan go get a joke thesaurus now okay that will be beneficial i should have said quickly and then you could have <laughs> 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 And that's why we need a comedy with dinosaurs because we miss opportunities like that. It was a second too late. Yeah, yeah. that's what she said. Yeah, well, well, that was her fault. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That's what she exclaimed. Ooh, that's what she proclaimed. Oh no, no, no! We're uh, we're getting close to a line there. That's what she announced. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever lines there are have been crossed many times. It doesn't matter anymore. Right, add a build a bit more no, <laughs> <laughs> For God and all the seven year olds to see. The the employees didn't say I couldn't. You couldn't stuff the bear the way that you wanted to. Yeah. Right. Sir, what are you doing with that flashlight? Inspecting its colon. <sighs> All right, well. Pretty sexy bear. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you have anything else to talk about or? Uh, one thing, okay. one thing here. Um, sadly, uh, one of my favorite shows that I've been watching for quite a long time has now come to an end uh, this last Friday. Uh, and that is Mock the Week. Uh, on uh, on British television, but it's, uh, it's a long running show that literally just mocks the the news week every week, and it's uh, very very funny. Always has been. You can definitely check it out on YouTube. But last episode was uh, this Friday, and uh, they just got canceled, like for no reason. Yeah, they're not picking the show back up. It's been running for seventeen years. Oh, holy shit! Yeah, wow! Uh, like and just for no reason at all. It's not like people aren't still watching, you know. Right. But I watched the last episode, and I was looking on some of the comments on uh, on YouTube, and the very first one was a long winded comment, but he started it off with, "You know, an empire is crumbling when it starts killing its jesters." Yep, it's true. Speaking of uh, British television news, did you see the Doctor Who transformation with Jodie Whittaker? No. And who she turned into? No. When we end, you should look it up because I don't want to spoil it for you because it gave me chills like straight up, like as it's happening, something different starts happening. And I was I was like, what the fuck? What is going on right now? Why is it like this? Please don't tell me that they're about to do something even fuck crazier. And oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. It was good. It was good. I was impressed. I was happy. Very happy with it. And it is back to save the show. You'll see. That would be so. Oh my god. You'll see. You'll see. That'd it's good. Sick. It's good. Um. Anyways, I feel like this is been favorite. soul pods. It has um, been fucking soul pods, hasn't it? It has been. It has been. Um. <laughs> as always, I am your intrepid editor, Jake. And I am your loud mouth constant, Muzzy. And I am Evan, and I apologize for all the chicken fucking jokes. I don't. Just kidding. I Check apologize for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out wherever you can find us at Soul Pods, Muzzy. Uh, yeah, I had some problems with the uh, with the email address, but I've gotten that fixed now. Unfortunately, I've lost a lot of uh, recent emails. So if you guys have uh, sent in anything in the last month, please feel free to hit us up at Soul Pods Podcast at protonmail.com. Fuck okay. yeah. And, uh, I'm going to post a new, new stuff on Celestinauts on our SoundCloud, so you should check that out, too. Yeah. I'm actually going to throw one up tonight after I go home. So, hope you guys have had a great day. Hope you guys have on TikTok, too. We're probably going to fire that shit back up. Oh, yeah. No, I I've, I've definitely have a few clips for that, too. Um, 
thank you so much for listening. Thank you for, you know, being here with being us. Here. Yeah. You know, just, just stopping by. We appreciate yous and uh, we'll catch you guys, you know, on the flip side where, yeah. where we reside. So if I didn't mean what I said about Buffalo. Fuck the Bills. You guys, you guys are all right. You got a terrible football team and your city's trash, but you guys are all right. More than just wings. <laughs>